Ketupat in Malay and Indonesian, kupat in Javanese and Sundanese, or tipat in Balinese is a type of dumpling made from rice packed inside a diamond-shaped container of woven palm leaf pouch. It is commonly found in Brunei, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia and Philippines where it is known by the name Payoso in Maranao, Iranan and Maguindanaan, Tamu in Taushug, Bugnoi in Hiligaynon, Puso in Cebuano and Patupat in Kapampangan, Pangasinan and Ilocano. It is commonly described as packed rice, although there are other types of similar packed rices such as lontong and bakchang. Ketupat is cut open, its skin woven palm leaf being removed, the inner rice cake is cut in pieces, and served as staple food, as the replacement of plain steamed rice. It usually eaten with rendang, opor ayam, sayur labu chayote soup, sambal goreng hati liver in sambal or served as an accompaniment to satay chicken or beef or lamb in skewers or gado gado mixed vegetables with peanut sauce. Ketupat is also the main element of certain dishes such as ketupat sayur ketupat in chayote soup with tofu and boiled egg and kupit tahu ketupat and tofu in peanut sauce. History The use of woven young palm leaves fronds as a pouch to cook food is widespread in maritime Southeast Asia, from Indonesia and Malaysia, to the Philippines. Ketupat is made from rice that has been wrapped in a woven palm leaf pouch and boiled. As the rice cooks, the grains expand to fill the pouch and the rice becomes compressed. This method of cooking gives the ketupat its characteristic form and texture of a rice dumpling. Local stories passed down through the generations have attributed the creation of this style of rice preparation to the seafarer's need to keep cooked rice from spoiling during long sea voyages. The cocoa leaves used in wrapping the rice are always shaped into a triangular or diamond form and stored hanging in bunches in the open air. The shape of the package facilitates moisture to drip away from the cooked rice while the cocoa leaves allow the rice to be aerated and at the same time prevent flies and insects from touching it. In Java and most of Indonesia, ketupat is linked to Islamic tradition of Lebaran Eid al -Fitr. The earliest connection of ketupat with Islamic Lebaran tradition is believed to be originated in 15th century Sultanate of Damak. Nevertheless, ketupat is also known in non-Muslim communities, such as Hindu Balinese and people of the Philippines, which suggested that the weaving of coconut fronds has pre-Islamic origin. It was linked to the local Hindu ritual on venerating Dewi Shri, the Javanese goddess of rice. The Balinese Hindus still weave the Sili fronds effigy of Dewi Shri as an offering, as well as weaving tipat fronds during Cunningan Balinese Hindu Holy Day. According to Javanese traditions, the Indonesian Lebaran tradition was first started when Sunan Benang, one of Wali Songo of Tuban in 15th century Java, calls for the Muslims to elevate the perfection of their Ramadan fast by asking forgiveness and forgiving others' wrongdoings. The tradition on preparing and consuming ketupat or kupit in Javanese language during Lebaran is believed to be introduced by Raiden Mas Sahid or Sunan Kalajaga, one of Wali Songo nine Muslim saints that spread Islam in Java. Sunan Kalajaga introduced the Lebaran ketupat ritual on 8 Shawal, a week after Eid ul fitr and a day after a six-day Shawal fast. It is believed that it contains appropriate symbolism. Kupit means naku lipat or admitting one's mistakes. In Javanese language, in accordance to asking for forgiveness tradition during Lebaran. The crossed weaving of palm leaves symbolizes mistakes and sins committed by human beings, and the inner whitish rice cake symbolize purity and deliverance from sins after observing Ramadan fast, prayer and rituals. Other than Java, the tradition on consuming ketupat during Eid ul fitr is also can be found throughout Indonesia, from Sumatra, Kalimantan, Sulawesi, Nusa Tenggara. Cultural significance In various places in Indonesia, there is a ceremony called Lebaran Ketupat, which is observed after the conclusion of an extra six days of fasting following Idul Fitri. In Lombok, West Nusa Tenggara, thousands of Muslims celebrated Lebaran Ketupat, or Lebaran Topat as it is locally called, by visiting the graves of Muslim ulamas before partaking in communal ceremonial activities, which includes music performances, ketupat cooking competitions, to shared meals where ketupat was served as the main dish. Side dishes at the events varied, ranging from plekang kongkun stir-fried water spinach to the local dish of ayam taliwang. 
In central Java, Lebaran Katupat is called Bada Kupat, and was celebrated by cooking and serving Katupat and Lepet steamed sticky rice cooked in plated palm leaves in Semarang. In Kolo, Kudus Regency, a parade of Gunningen cone-shape offering made of Katupat, Lepet and other food items on the slope of Mount Maria near the grave of noted Muslim preacher Sunan Maria, was held to celebrate Bada Kupat, while on the slope of Mount Merapi in Boyolali Regency, the celebration featured a parade of livestock decorated with Katupat. Among Hindu communities in Bali and Banyuwangi in East Java, Katupat is part of the offering and ritual of Kuningan festive celebration to conclude the Galungan holy days. During Galungan, Hindu families create and erect a penjor pole made of janur young palm leaves, and then make some offerings to the pura. Ten days after Galungan, the ceremony of Kuningan is observed to conclude the religious holy days. To celebrate Kuningan, Balinese Hindu families make tipat or katupat first as offering, and then they consume some katupat afterwards. There are some striking similarities between Javanese Muslim Lebaran and Balinese Hindu Galungan Kuningan holy days, of which katupat is one. For example, the families pay a visit to the grave of their family or ancestors prior of observing the holy day, and they consume katupat to conclude the religious festival. Although today in contemporary Indonesia, katupat is strongly associated with Muslim celebration of Idul Fitri, this parallel phenomenon suggested the pre-Islamic native origin of katupat, as native Indonesian ways to show gratitude and to celebrate festivities by making and consuming certain kind of food. Varieties There are many varieties of katupat, with two of the more common ones being katupat nasi and katupat pulat. Katupat nasi is made from white rice and is wrapped in a square shape with coconut palm leaves while katupat pulat is made from glutinous rice is usually wrapped in a triangular shape using the leaves of the fan palm Katupat pulat is also called katupat don palas in Malaysia. Katupat is also traditionally served by Indonesian and Malays at open houses on festive occasions such as Lebaran or Idul Fitri Hari Raya Adil Fitri. During Idul Fitri in Indonesia, katupat is often served with either opor ayam chicken in coconut milk, chicken or beef curry, rendang, sambal goreng ati spicy beef liver, krecik buffalo or beef skin dish, or sayur labu siam chayote soup. Katupat or lontong is also used as the replacement of plain steamed rice in gado gado, karadik, or pasel. Among the Moro Muslim Filipino groups dominating the Sulu archipelago and southwestern Mindanao of the Philippines, katupat, known as payoso or tamu, is served with an array of dishes including tiula itam, rendang, ginatang manik, piangong, kulma and sati. It is served during special occasions such as Hari Raya Idol Fitter, Hari Raya Idol Adha and weddings. Among Christian Filipinos in Visayas and Luzon, Puso, as katupat is locally known, is also traditionally used as a paban or a packed lunch, traditionally brought by workers, served with any selection of stews. Puso is also widely eaten in the side streets of Cebu with pork or chicken skewers and other grilled selections. In the hiligaynon speaking regions, it is known as bugnoy. Derivative dishes Other than replacing steamed rice or lontong in certain dishes, such as satay, gado gado, and ketoprak, katupat is also forming the essential part of other derivative dishes with certain recipes developed from it. Katupat sayur One of popular street food in Indonesian cities is katupat sayur which literary means, katupat in vegetables soup. Katupat sayur is known in two popular versions, the Batawi version from Jakarta and Katapak Sewa the Padang version from West Sumatra. Katupat sayur is popular as breakfast fare in Jakarta and Padang. It consists of katupat served with sliced labu siam chayote and unripe jackfruit gulai in thin and spicy coconut milk soup, topped with cooked tofu and teller pindang spiced boiled egg, and krupuk crackers. If lontong was used in the identical recipe, it is called lontong sayur instead. Kupit tahu 
Ketupat also used as main ingredient in Sundanese and Javanese dish kupat tahu, which is ketupat, tahu goreng fried tofu, and bean sprouts served in peanut sauce topped with crispy krupuk crackers. Popular variants of kupit tahu includes kupit tahu kuningan from Kuningan Regency in West Java, kupit tahu magaling from Magaling Regency, Central Java, and kupit tahu jempal from Surabaya, East Java. Its Balinese version is called tipat kantok, which is sliced katupat, vegetables, bean sprout, cucumber, and fried tofu mixed in peanut sauce which is made from ground fried peanuts, garlic, chili pepper, salt and tauco fermented soy paste. Other uses In Hindu-majority Bali, katupat is used as one of the temple offerings. In Java, among traditional Muslim Abangan community, the woven empty or uncooked katupat skin is often hung as an amulet to symbolize wealth and prosperity. Because in Indonesia katupat is strongly linked to Islamic Eid ul-Fitr, it is also used as decorations. The empty katupat skin woven from colorful ribbons are used as decorations to signify this festive occasions, in the same fashions as bells to signify Christmas. Colorful ribbon katupat are often used to decorate shopping malls, offices, or as decorations of gift parcels. <laughs> Similar dishes In Cambodia, a similar dish of pounded sticky rice wrapped in a pentagonal woven palm leaves is called katam, in Khmer. It is a non-traditional variant of num kom which uses banana leaves instead of palm. In Indonesia, similar dish of compressed rice in leaf container includes lapet, lontong, lemper, arem arem and bakang. See also Lambin Lantong Onigiri Zongzi